up guys, I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. Today we are going to be doing the quickest WJ front end removal ever. And we're done. See ya. Alright guys, welcome to today's project. For real now, we are working on the Jeep WJ. We're going to try to tackle this power steering pump leak. Why? Because it's been leaking all over my driveway since I got this thing. It's very annoying having a disgusting driveway. I don't want that anymore. So we're going to go tackle the power steering pump. Uh, let's see right here. Got myself power steering pump right here. It's new. Actually, it's a remanufactured power steering pump. I'll give you that part number in a little bit. We also got all new power steering hoses. Now this stuff goes to the hydro fan. I'm not sure if it's the hydraulic fan that's leaking everywhere or the power steering pump leaking everywhere. But if you get inside, yep, there it is. It's all nasty in there. Could be leaking from the pump, could be leaking from the reservoir, or leaking from the lines or the hydro fan. So I'm just going to replace it all. So again, new power steering pump. Reservoir, we're gonna have to go switch over our pulley. We got our lines and of course while this is out to get to the pump You know this old thing this uh, Radiator is busted and this is the hydro fan that was in it. That looks like crap So had a junkyard score not too long ago was blessed with everything I needed for my WJ new hydro fan new radiator well <laughs> used used stuff, but better stuff hopefully Got that stuff, got a box full of new stuff, and we're gonna try to make this thing whole again. No leaks, we'll have it run and drive, and uh, we'll see where it goes from there. So let's get it started. So obviously I have this whole front end off. Uh, if you want a better detail on taking the stuff off, go check out my other WJ videos. We worked on Project Alahama with my cousin's WJ. This one is all apart, don't wanna boy it with the same stuff twice. So next step to get to the power steering pump, we gotta get the belt off. All you need is a 15 millimeter on a breaker bar. This comes right off. Now, just like that, a little clockwise turn, belt is off. Now, do yourself a favor and take a picture of the way this belt is routed. This way, uh, you guys won't have any confusion on how it goes back. Belt is out. Okay, now that the belt's out of the way and the pulley is free, you could spin this thing to line up with the 13 millimeter hex bolt fasteners. You can take them right out. There's one. Two. And where are you? Three. Oh wow. This came out a lot easier than I thought. And uh, I am pleasantly surprised. <laughs> and just to uh, note, all three bolts are the same size. And here we go. This is out. It's leaking everywhere. All right, pump is free. We still gotta disconnect the lines. So let's just say that these lines are bad and your pump or your reservoir is good and you're just replacing the lines. Well, tip of the day, don't struggle with this. Just cut the line off because, man, sometimes these are on so tight they will break your plastic. Don't want to break your reservoir. So we've got a nice clean cut. We'll worry about taking this off on the bench. And we've got a compression fitting here. Oops. Take this clamp off. Slide it down. Let's see how this is. Give it a little wiggle. And this shouldn't be a problem. Oof. <laughs> There we go. Pump and reservoir is out. We got one line out. This will be salvaged. I'll clean this one up. And this one down here, going to the cooler that we cut. I'll be replacing it with this Sunsong 3404024. You know what? Let's replace this now. This way we could keep its proper orientation. There we go. Nice new line. Got to go ahead and use a hose clamp for this one. Go. 
good. New line. Easy peasy. Oh man, this is just filthy, nasty neglect. I wonder how much this has been leaking. Oh, look at all this gunk. You could, you could taste the neglect. If you want to get a good idea of what I'm talking about, look at this. Yeah, that's the air filter. So, <laughs> I gotta give this baby some love. I'm gonna clean this whole area up before we reinstall anything else. All right, guys, this is looking much better. Still not perfect, but I'll take it. But uh, when I sprayed that brake clean in here to get all that sludge off, I kind of gooped up this connector. This is the oil pressure sensor connector. So what I did was I cleaned that out with the good old contact cleaner. And uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blast this out with a nice fresh can of air. Alright, and of course, uh, gonna add some dielectric grease to finish off this connection. I'll plug her back in and reattach that little lock. There we go. Cool. Alright, back to the pump. Alright, here we go. Gonna take some penetrating oil and just soak this. And then, got my brush from my 9mm. It's a very expensive gun. I have lots and lots of them. It's <laughs> just gonna clean all this crap out let the penetrating oil soak in let it do its thing then we'll come back here in a little bit pop off this pulley all right now to get the pulley off you're gonna need a pulley puller let's see this is astro 7874 let's see if i could find a link for you leave that in the description this is a buddy of mine this is andy's so thank you andy appreciate it so now what you want to do is you take these two half thingies over here very technical Gonna slide these around this little collar piece and you're gonna put this in obviously then you half them all together this is a little plunger here because it's gonna spin and rotate and you just thread this down simple as that there we go now you got some tension now break out the tools Gee whiz, finally. Well, that was a B. <laughs> Jeez, maybe uh, maybe invest in a new pulley before, uh, <laughs> before you do this job because, dang, what a pain. But we got it. Yay. All right, here we go. New pump, new reservoir, and here is the old pulley, nice and cleaned up. And obviously you're going to want all the writing on the front, because if you need a pulley, you know what part number to get. So I'm going to apply some anti-seize on the body of this shaft. Hopefully that'll help it press in a little smoother. There we go. Let's set this, uh, eh, why not, all up in here. Set it in place. Wiggle that in. That is a nice tight fit. All right, now we're on to our puller. So we're gonna do this thing a little differently. Um, same basic principle. You thread in some parts and then you press on your pulley. But this is going the opposite way. Let's see, here we go. Pull out our pin. Now this thread's on here. Like so. There we go. That's in tight. Oops, slide on our washer, slide on our thrust washer, and go ahead and screw this down. There we go, and a wrench. Should tighten this bad boy down.
And it gets really tight towards the end. So we'll just finish it off in the vise. Well, I did use some anti-season here, so hopefully it's not stuck on. <laughs> Take apart everything. Uh, so far so good here. Get the washers off. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That's a beauty, guys. Nice and flush with the shaft. Ah, it's a little bit deep. See that? Just a little bit deeper. It's going to be all right, though. If you go too deep, you're going to have to hook on this collar and pull it out again. And if you check it, it's not deep enough. You got to keep going. But this should be all right. <laughs> Just going to stuff this with anti-seize. <laughs> Why not? So there it is, guys. Pulley is on. Looking good. Gonna take off the stupid cap. There. Cap is off. We'll replace it with our power steering cap. Looking good. Mm, yep. Universal. Good that fits. And here's the old one. Looking nasty. Looking leaky and crusty. We got a good one. Oh, and by the way, my new pump is AC Delco 36P1499. And if you want to separate the pump from the reservoir, it's just held on by two little clips right here, top and bottom. And you just got to separate these little tabs up here. Pry that tab back. One clip. Ugh, that rusty one just broke right off. Ugh, nasty. There we go, clips are off. It should just, yep, just like that. And there we go. Pump is now separate from the reservoir. All right, let's get this baby installed. All right, here comes the new pump. Looking good. Just gonna line it right up, slide in these bolts. Cool. All right, I'm just gonna connect this little guy. Um, Probably should have done it before I installed the pump, but whatever. Not a big deal to get to. Let's do it now. And you know what? Before I slide this back on, I'm gonna address this ugly looking hose. Maybe this connector was leaking too. There we go. Ugh. So I took this old line, cut off the end, threaded it all the way onto this line, and uh, cleaned this thing up. It's going to spin nice and easy. We'll install this right here. And you know what? It's getting dark, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Daylight Savings. I'll have to finish this up in uh, part two or something. So, all right, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you on part two. Peace.